So welcome back to my final winging it of the year and what a journey it's been. This project started because I wanted to take charge of my life and do things that I wanted to do without being told what to do. And this year has told me that life is short. So I decided to produce some podcasts with my good friends and everyone that's been on here I've known and some people that I'll get to know more, but they've all got a story to tell. And that was my whole goal, to share people's stories, to share people's journeys and to share my own. Um, it's been funny that I've had to expose my whole life on this podcast, but I haven't, I haven't regretted it and I've grown from it. So from podcast number one to now, I think we're at six and the afterthoughts I've grown. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow us because 2021 is going to be even wilder than 2020. So it was only right that I ended this year with one of your favorite guests. I have brought back my good, good, good friend that I knew when I was at least three stones lighter. He's come back in my life and he is a really good support network for me. And he is my my broski, my friend, my homie, my dog. And I want to bring you back to Mr. Bob. Bob Sam. back in the building. Sam. Yo, Bob, thank you for coming down. Thanks I don't me. even know why we call you Bob. I'm going to try though, because I know Bob's not your name, it's but nickname. it's the Thank alias, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nickname. So you've now got the fresh trim for the fans. For me as well. <laughs> for you? Yeah. Are you for sure me, it's for, for you? For me first. For you first. That's what yeah. it's about. Is that is that the message of self, self, love. self love for 2020? For forever. You've got to love yourself. How long have you been on this self love thing? Is it a phase? Mm, genuinely, I'd say couple of years now like taking it serious so what changed for you what made you decide that you come before is that what self-love is is that you coming before other people no no not not in that sense more just you got to make sure you're good yeah before you can do anything else so i think that's really it's, hard it's, it's though i must up. say I, ch- I i struggle with the the self-care because as a woman mm-hmm. we often put others in front First, of ourselves, yeah, yeah, our yeah. children, yeah. our men. And I've noticed that my, per- just who I am, when I've been in relationships, I'm a different person to who I am when I'm single. Mm-hmm. I have so much more time for myself and the self-care and the meditation and yeah. the all sorts of things. But when I get into a relationship, I just want to love on you. I love to love up on man, you nurturing. know? Nurturing, it's nurturing. I love to nurture, yeah, oh yeah, my it's gosh. Woman, it's nature, you're nurturing. So when you're, when you're being nurtured, what's your best position? When a woman's really loving up on you, what does that feel like? That's the best. That's what you want. Is she like cuddling you, just yeah, bathing um, you, cutting your nails, all them things? Yeah, I could say, yeah. Is that what you like? I love pampering. You love the pampering? Yeah, I, I can it. see you. You know I the sweet boy thing, it. innit? It's not sweet boy thing, it's just who don't want to be pampered. But do you, you pamper back? 100%. Okay. Very what was, affectionate. What was the most affectionate thing you've done in a relationship, would you say? <sighs> Have um, you taken out someone's weave? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. You cut out the weave? I don't know if I cut it, but I've, yeah, I cut the string bit, <laughs> and then it, you can pull it after that. <laughs> and 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 what kind of relationship were you? That was that you're certified or was that a team? That's just certified. That's certified. Yeah. So you was all up That's in there. That's level. You have to be a, a, a certain level. Do you like burst spots and stuff? Nah, nah. You don't do that. Nah. Is that because you're quite scorny? No, because I just think it's gross. <laughs> it's disgusting. But do you want your spots? No. What about your ingrowing hairs? Because you black oh, men get it. Oh, hairs, yes. But that's the same thing. It's not. <laughs> Why is it not? It's, not it's disgusting. It's got a I'm spot thinking. around the hair. It's not. You got to let the hair out. <laughs> the spot is just. What is that? It's, <laughs> no. No. it's still pussy. Yeah. Do you know what though? The word. What would you say the word is for 2020? How, what What one word would you define for 2020? Two words. Okay, two words. Social distancing. How is that? How would that define the whole year? That's all we've been. That's fucked up everything for us. <laughs> yeah, true. It's changed the whole way we live. But hasn't the distance been good? Not really. Not for me. Aren't there some people that you just wanted to distance from? Because there's some people I. I never to... had a problem distancing from them when it was normal. Let me go out and let me go to a festival and, and then yeah, my normal no. shit. You yeah. know we didn't get to go to 51st State this oh, year. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like fuck everything up. Everything up, everything. yeah. Social, I liked social distancing. No, I didn't. At I'm, first it was good. Yeah. When we got the furlough from work and it was everyone was at home. Yeah. But that ran out quick. And then you just the wanted to get... on the road, it was banging. Yeah. But then it, that ran out quick. Back to normal now, man. Let's get back to normal. So there were a lot of things. First thing that happened in January, did you know there was a bushfire in Australia? 
I vaguely remember. You vaguely remember. Hmm. Bit animals died, you know. Oh, no, no, why is that? Why? What, you know, I've spoken to a few people about this, and that has not been a priority for people. But there are some people out there that are banging on about the bushfires. Why do we not take it seriously in our urban community? Do you think? Because it's so far away from us. It's, that doesn't affect us. Yeah. The fire I, in Australia doesn't affect me one tiny bit. They wouldn't even let me in. I don't think I wanted to go there. So why, why would I, wouldn't they let you in Australia? They've got criminal records. They don't let people with criminal records there. But I swear all the criminals went to Australia. That's, how it's, that's the irony. That's how it started. But then they don't want but you. But now remember Snoop couldn't go there because he had a criminal record. Serious thing. Yeah. So where else can't you go with a criminal record? You've got to apply for a visa for America. So can you go? You can't go America? I've been in America. I haven't tried. Are you scared that you won't get a visa? Nah, I try. If they say the worst thing is they say no and it stays how it is, I don't go. But that's a liberty, isn't it? That's what happens but when I heard up. Chris Brown was here though this year, and I heard he wasn't supposed to come because he had a felony. But he was up in the country. So, do you think there's certain rules for the rich and famous, and not for others? There's always rules for the rich and famous, that's not for others. Do you know who I really want to come here though, Budju? Yeah, but um, why wouldn't he come though? They're still learning about boom, bye, bye, innit? Especially in this woke times, they ain't gonna let him in. Nah. <laughs> he's never gonna say sorry. But he said, he's not, I think he did say I sorry. I think he did say sorry. No, who knows? Yeah, because that, you know what? There's nothing about that rhythm. I love the rhythm. I'm not going to lie. I'm not for the message, but he he brings out bangers. I don't care. No, was a big song. I shouldn't even say that. It was a big that's song. that linked to someone else. But anyway, but yeah, he's about them tunes. Yeah, you got to be. <laughs> Certain manners being quiet around here. Right. So I've got a list of things that have happened in 2020 mm. that I can't believe have happened. In January the 8th, Prince Harry and Meghan announced they were stepping down from their duties as senior roles mm -hmm. in Buckingham Palace. What did that mean to you? I feel like, because I kind of follow this shit a little bit. Okay, you follow it. Go on. Oh, yeah, because you watch that Queen's thing on Netflix, oh, don't you? The Crown. You love Amazing. it, The Crown. Amazing. It was so fruity. Amazing, Amazing. <laughs> TV. Anyway, um, Meghan just couldn't handle it. And that's his missus. Do you think Meghan's black? 100% she's black. You think? Just because she's got a black mum? Listen, if you drop a drop of ink in a, white, in a cup of milk, it turns blue. That's it. Okay. It doesn't matter how much black's in you, you're black. They see her as black. Right. So, she's a black woman married to Prince Harry, mm -hmm. who was always down for the blacks. So I'm not even going to lie. No, not when he wore a Nazi suit. Oh, did he wear a Nazi suit? Yeah, but let's, other than that, yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, what, are you down for Harry? I fucking Harry, but I'm just saying, let's not Do you think always. he's a real guy? I believe him. Why do you think so? What? Because he could have a little rhythm. I just think he's, him and William. I think the mum rubbed William? Up no, no way. Listen William to what I'm is saying. not a real guy. I think he's a real guy. No he's way. Being himself. He's, being oh, himself. Please, he's not himself. He's being himself. I don't even know William. We know Harry. Harry was a raver. Harry, Harry was never going to get the. You see, you don't watch the Crown. No, I don't. So watch you don't the know crown. about the throne and all that. Harry was never going to get it. So what? That's so why he he's a rebel. He doesn't. Not that he was a rebel. He, just, he can be normal. It doesn't okay. affect his lineage. William has to act the same way. He's the eldest. Right. He's going to be king. Okay. So as much as he might want to... He's relaxed for them, trust me. So do you think he just doesn't rate the monarchy? The monarchy killed his mum. How are they going to rate the monarchy? That's true, you know. They just... They just but did they the kill, do you think they killed his mum because his mum was doing a thing with a non-white man? Do you think she was doing a thing with they're, a non-white no, man? Um, yes, and he, she's, the, she's the king's mum. She's with Dodie Fire, the, the Muslim yeah. man whose dad owns, Har whose dad owns Harrods. Yeah. They're not trying to give you all that power. It's true, That's, you know. And, the, and people love her. It's not like she was just that and no one ever checked for her. She was an icon. Talking about Harry, do you think he is Charles' son? Don't you think he looks like the other man? Yeah, but I think I, I see Harry in him as well. White people just have ginger hair sometimes, man. <laughs> I don't think it's, it's... We don't have to give it our West Indian... That's not his you. I know you picked me that in or no? Nah, don't have to do that. <laughs> Because we did talk I, about jackets already, innit? Straight it? away, that's what yeah. we do as a culture. The <laughs> nose is different. <laughs> the eyebrows yeah. are different. Yeah, he not, looks too light. Right. So, yeah. you, uh, so you like print... Do you like the royals? I don't hate them. Why I don't you hate them? They take our money. Because I think they take our money. That, that take I just don't money. think it's necessary. I don't think we need royalty. We don't need it, but this is what the country likes. So Who here. likes it? English people like it. They love it. Who's English people, though? We're the English people. We ain't English. So who are you? British. I'm English. No, you ain't. Why do you say I'm not? Because your heritage, it's your heritage. My heritage is Guyanese, but yeah, I'm... So you're English. Guyanese then? No, why yeah, are you going to tell me? Or back to Africa, wherever they <laughs> No. Get, wherever they stole you from. I'm not going that Guyana. far. I'm not going that far. They didn't steal me from nowhere. They stole you. They what are you talking about? Okay. They stole all of us that are here. 
Okay, someone stole somebody. They didn't stole me particularly. Because you they see me, I would granny. have been that slave. That My granny, you're going to go there. Your about great, my granny. I'm not, this is not insult. This is facts. I'm telling you. But why don't you tell me about my granny? My granny would have fought. Not your mum's mum. Her mum's mum. Or her mum's mum's mum. One time I went to Gambia. And I went to um, Kunta Kente's village, yeah? Mm-hmm. I don't think it was Kunta Kente's village. It was all a ploy yeah. to take my money. And there was a woman there. She was a great aunt of Kunta Kente, apparently. Don't ask me how. Because she was like 60. And Kunta mm-hmm. Kente is like 200. But anyway, yeah. she said to me, come. And she called me from the village, you know. And she said, you look like my people. You yeah. look like Kunta Kente. Yeah. I was like, rah. Do you think she was insulting you? No, then she asked me oh. for a donation. Do you think oh. she was just trying to beg it? Probably a little bit. But I, true, when I take off this wig, like my money. hair... Yeah, she did. I, look, I did look like money because oh, I had cool. a wig on. But under the wig, you know my hair is like one step away Maybe from the Maybe you can see some of your camo and for the Kunta <laughs> Kinte bit was a piece of your camo show. <laughs> do you know what I did today? Do you know? Do you know, talking about this, oh. I know we're going off subject, yeah? Do you know girls iron their wigs? Never seen that. Yeah, we do, you know. So I, like... I had a little buff this. Do you not feel nuts doing you doing that? <laughs> or put, put I iron. Mean, really no. Wow. I feel nuts doing that. Well, go on. <laughs> you wouldn't iron your beard. Definitely. Do you know there are beard straighteners? You know you can get like hot brushes to straighten out your beard a little bit. Didn't you can get that. it on Amazon. Would I you never had that? Because your beard is like mad curly. Wouldn't like you like that. it like no. a little bit Perm straight? looking. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Would you ever do the spray beard? Like in America? I don't need to do a spray beard. Are you a bit thin on top though? Oh. Jabs are real. No, I'm just asking. Like, would you? Hold on a second. I've got to get over that. <laughs> oh, Why thought, is he so sensitive I today? Was, I thought we was a team. We I'm are a team. Shots. But you can take shots at me as well. No, I wouldn't do a spray beard. Thanks. You wouldn't do a shot. Right okay, with my, okay. My patchy beard. <laughs> You stayed here with your patchy beard. Right, so we got Meghan Markle and you're for the royals, right? No, I'm not for... Don't speak <sighs> that to me. You are for the royals. I just, I'm for the, I just don't hate them. I don't care. If they was to go, it wouldn't be like, oh man, why are they going? I just don't... It doesn't bother me. So you went to prison. Does it matter that it was called Her Majesty's? Mm-mm. So Her Majesty actually... They could have called it Butlins. It would have been the same place. So what it was called didn't even cross my mind. And you didn't think HMP, Her Majesty. Was it Her Majesty's Maybe. Pleasure? Her Majesty's it- Prison. Oh, I thought it was pleasure. Not pleasure. <laughs> pleasure what? That we put gay in jail. <laughs> yeah. No, Her I, Majesty- didn't, I didn't take that out on the royal family. You didn't? Me going to jail, nah. So now you've got to think about it, though, because you was in Her Majesty's prison. Do you really still want to watch? The Crown? The Crown. I can't watch The Crown anymore because I finished the season. Oh. When season four comes out <laughs> or five, I'll be watching. And you won't be thinking about HMP. It's that good. You won't think of anything that was on TV. It's a good show. You I'm should not, watch it. No, I'm not going to. I think you should watch it. I right, think like it. January 11th. This is what happened. Go on. China records its first corona death. What happened when you heard that? Didn't care. Why didn't you care? I didn't think it was going to affect us. What, because it's in China? Yeah. Why? Chi- you, they, and eat, and they were eating bats. That's what they said, innit? <laughs> and I thought, they're just, they're just them. Who's, who's eating bats? I remember that's how they said it started. The... The COVID came from them eating bats. Are you one of these people that go on YouTube and listen to conspiracy theories? Nah. Totally so where opposite. did you hear the bat thing? That was never on the news. That was. It was. Really? Where have you been, did you mean? That's the question we need to ask. I don't really That's watch That's how it news. started. They said that Chinese people eating bats. Because they eat that part of the world. They just eat a lot of different stuff, innit? That's a bit racist. It's the truth. It's not racist. I'm, I'm doing facts. Have, I'm doing facts. Would you eat a bat? <laughs> no, I wouldn't eat a bat. Okay. A okay. bat. Would you eat a bat? Hmm, depends. It's got a little sweet and sour on it. So then, you didn't feel no reason, okay? No it, reason it, to be it didn't bother me at that so time. So you didn't think it would happen like it happened because it was all the way in China. And anticipate. you can't get a plane from Chinese International or China, yeah, whatever it's called, Hong Kong International. No, no, that was all obvious, but I did, didn't see it being this. You thought it was, a China, it was like their issue, yeah, not your issue. Yeah, I thought they were going to contain it and sort it out. All right, I hear you. So then, 26th of January, mm. Kobe died. Oh, yeah. What was your first thought? Didn't really affect me that much because like, I'm not into you're basketball. You're a heartless brother. No, I'm not into basketball. If it was what? Ian Wright, what? if it was Ian Wright, I would have felt it because that's one of us. I ours. don't understand. Kobe is one big basketballer I'm not from saying, back in the day. No, d- I, no I, did, I knew who he was and I was like, oh shit, that's, that's fucked oh, up. Oh shit. Uh, Anyone dying is. is and the little good. girl, Gigi. It was sad. You're mistaking what I'm saying. Go I'm on, not say saying it then. wasn't sad. You asked me how it affected me. Okay. It didn't have the effect it had on most people because I wasn't impacted by basketball. I just know him as 
Kobe Bryant, he's probably one of the best basketball players in the world. But other than that, I don't know nothing about him. Didn't it remind you of Aaliyah? No, because I listen to Aaliyah's music. No, but Aaliyah died in a plane crash as well. Yeah, but I listened to Aaliyah's music, so I felt a connection to her. Oh. I'd never heard Did no you fancy her? I thought she was good looking. She was never really She's my... She's little teeth. Oh, rest in peace, innit? But she was a little I mean, body, innit? Yeah, man. But mm. she's not... She's kind of dead. That's, <laughs> she's dead. She... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's happening? He was going to come and take his shots at everyone. I'm, not, I'm just... I'm just saying. Yeah, Aaliyah, Aaliyah I, was just was, thinking... I thought she was, she was good looking, but I didn't fancy her. I didn't... Wasn't crushing on Aaliyah. When you found out that R. Kelly might have been tapping Aaliyah, how did you feel about that? Mm, at the time when I first... When it first came out, didn't really understand it, I think. So. Why didn't you understand it? Because this uncle's yeah, been doing that from day. I Do you know when I was younger, there was always an uncle that was nasty? I don't know how many other girls have had nasty uncles. They went like, hmm, you're, yeah. you're getting big, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Always a nasty uncle. So, but I, I no, when I say I didn't get it, I mean, I didn't... I understood that it was wrong, mm. but I didn't understand it like I now as an adult. So, in terms of age gap, what would you say is the youngest or the, the widest age gap you would go for? At my age now... I couldn't see myself with someone younger than 30. Really? Why? I just don't think... I mean, there's always exceptions, but... Not 25? Nah, it's too young. It's kid's age, man. Mm. If you're old enough to be my child, nah. If you're young enough to be my child, I should say. Is that because it's got, like, paedophile tendencies? Not really, because it's not a ped- it's nothing paedophile about me being with a 25-year-old. Well, kind of, because when pedophile. she was, like, zero, whoa, you were, whoa, like, whoa, 15. Whoa. That's not... You can't call it someone a paedophile... If they're 40 and they were a 25-year-old, it's, it's perfectly... She's a grown woman. Now. But it's, it's, to me, I wouldn't go there. It's too young. What do you think about older women with younger men? Because I like younger men, you know. How younger men are you talking? I like them young still. Like how young? <sighs> 30. Yeah, that's not wrong with that. No? Nah. But I'm 38. It's fine. Because when I was leaving school, you was just starting secondary school. That's a bit deep, isn't it? Yeah, that's all past. You're the one worrying about all that. No one's not... No one's worrying Because I, I find that younger men like us older girls, you know? Not that we've got yeah, more experience. Yeah, but what are you trying to get? What are you trying to get? I just like their else? energy. Because you old dogs come with some real... Whoa. Like, Who some... are you old dogs? <laughs> all right, maybe not you, but... I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> you guys in your 40s are quite slow I don't, and boring. I don't, know. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't, are you not slower than when you was at 30? Right. Um, no, wait, I didn't, I didn't say yes. Okay. I'm thinking slower as in, I don't know, I think I'm, 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 I feel better now than any time ever. So how many rounds would you say you used to do at 30? We're talking about sex? Yes. Well, not boxing, fam. Rounds. You crap me out. <laughs> um, that niggas is taking notes, but uh, <laughs> six rounds. <laughs> It's the moment, isn't it? I don't know. Two, three. And now? And it's, it's been that. It's two, three now. What? You're still on that two, three, yeah? If the, yeah, if the mood's if right. If the mood's right. I'm in the right mood. Do you like putting slow jams on when you're doing a thing? I don't mind them on. I don't put that. Or do you put, like hip-hop? No. You like hip-hop? Who's listening to hip-hop when having sex? I don't know. Them do young bucks, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Your slow jam, like, Jodeci kind of love yeah. you down. Uh, whatever. Mm. Set have the mood. Got, have you got a playlist? I have. Ooh. Spotify. What, what's it called? Darren's playlist. <laughs> no, as in a bedroom playlist. Yes, but I picked everything on it. So it's just called... <laughs> my playlist, isn't it? <laughs> so you just draw for it when you're... I don't draw... Look, she's trying to paint this picture. I don't draw for anything. I am trying to paint the picture. I want to see what it's like when you get in the mood. Mm, I don't think I just would, would run for music because it's usually... A, it's passionate, isn't it? So it, it didn't mm. realise it was going to happen. Oh. Like planning for it and You don't up. do those like romantic nights where she comes home and there's candles nah. and there's petals. Mm-mm. And you're like, yo, I timed this, you know. Yeah, that's too cheesy for me. Oh, you're not into I like the cheese though. That's a bit too cheesy. Like the mozzarella. <laughs> that's too cheesy. Anyway, 31st of January, we withdraw from the European Union. Oh, Talking man. about British. I am a non Brexiter. I wanted us to stay. stay. Yeah. I like cheap flights. That's what you, it was about you, for me. That was my priority. I wanted us to stay in the European Union. I don't even understand why we wouldn't stay in the European Union. You're not, you're not the people that wanted it. So why do you think who who do you think actually wanted it? Middle England. Who were they? The people that want the refugees to go home. Oh. I don't understand that the EU's 
hasn't got any brown faces in the, in the country, so the people they want out ain't the people that's going to go, oh, we'll buy the Romanians. Romanians ain't like, got brown faces, though. Yeah, but they don't like Romanians for some reason. Why? Don't think they see them as white. Mm. They ain't as white as... White. As white, yeah. yeah. So they get... I don't think they minded the Polish being there. Yeah, because they build well. Yeah. But I would Romanians actually have a Polish man instead of a black man come to do my work, mm. you know? Oh, for you say as, a, as your fella. Nah, 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 I'm not about that because when they drink, it's a whole nother, anyway. But, and see the Polish... racist, it's, it's all racism. <laughs> yeah, but when a Polish man said he's coming at nine, mm-hmm. he's there at quarter two. Mm-hmm. See, black man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants, yeah. <laughs> he's not there till he Thursday. He wants some money. <laughs> he wants some money. Money up front. And then, if you could pay me then he wants week. lunch as well. Yeah. Then he wants a drink. And then Friday, he's probably not going to come. <laughs> Got stuff to do. Son's in court. <laughs> <laughs> so, he can't come. Yeah, that's why I like my Polsky man to come and do the thing. I'm about that life. No, they they, they work hard. But they I do. Do. the Brexit thing, we're going to feel it, man. Why do you think we're going to feel it? Because we've taken ourselves out of the market that's near us. But it's not even done yet. I'm really confused. I don't know if I'm ignorant, yeah? But mm. I'm confused. Where are we now? In December 2020... Basically, no deal has been made. Where are we? We're basically going to tell Boris in a minute that we're not coming to no deal. So what happens when we make no deal? We're not involved in anything. So where are we? Just in the middle of the ocean? Yep. I don't understand. We can't just be anywhere. That's why we shouldn't have voted it. But it's bigger than us. I know. But I still want my cheap flights. Let's kiss them goodbye. <laughs> and kept... BMWs and, and, and Mercedes and these cars that get made... In Germany and that. What am I going to do? What are we going to do? We can't go nowhere anywhere because COVID is here to stay. Right. Yeah. So then in February the 11th, World Health Organization names a disease COVID-19. Now, I want to ask you, did you watch that Chinese film where COVID-19 was named like two years ago? Mm-mm. Did you see that? Apparently there's a Chinese film that's out there that COVID was actually named years ago before it's actually happened that shows you that it was like a manufactured Conspiracy, not conspiracy. Is it a film? Yeah. On Netflix? Yes. I didn't watch it, but I heard about it. Years ago. I heard about it. So when you heard COVID-19, did that get scarier for you? I didn't, that's not, I'm not into conspiracy stuff as well, so. What do you think about people that are into conspiracies? I think they just want something to believe. And it gives them, it gives them purpose and meaning, like they've worked something out and oh, you're not enlightened. They do my head in. They like the chicks that are woke. All, woke and spiritual now with the numbers shit. Jesus. What numbers shit? Four 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 and two two two. And what? One to four 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 and two two. I don't know about that. Tell me about it. Just means that it's some angels are watching you. It's just it's just this new shit that's happened. I don't know. Spiritual but is a new. What thing. does woke actually mean? Does woke mean you got locks? Cause nah. Woke. Because I don't know if my, me, my cameraman's woke. Woke means. <laughs> <laughs> woke means you're. Paying attention now. So what? I'm not paying attention because I'm not. No, well, we weren't paying attention before like, to a lot of things. Now we're paying attention. So you stuff. woke up. Yeah, like African black girls wearing their hair naturally. That like, ain't being woke. No, but listen to me, man. <sighs> Jesus. Go on. A lot of them would think the we the, the wig or the weave looks better than their hair, but looking at just woke, woke. I'm woke. I'm walking my own hair. My hair's. You don't want me to draw off this wig. Because that ain't, there's nothing woke about it. That will put you to sleep. <laughs> make take, you... take it off, let's see. No! I don't believe you. Look, you don't want to see these cane rows. They've been there for about two weeks. They're Someone all will like, love them. They're all intertwining. Somebody out there watching this loves them. <laughs> Someone out there greased them one time. See them? See them men there that all grease right. their scalp. Big up yourselves. Yeah. I'm about that man. See that man that greases my scalp? Mm. There's nothing greater, you know. See, taking out the weave and greasing the scalp is a whole nother dimension of loving. What are you doing for him when he's doing all this stuff? I do bad things for him. You sounds were... like you, you, you. You know I'm not a you, it you, you. It sounds like I said. Why does it sound like a you? Because you're only talking about he he must cut your weave. You want a hairdresser. You don't want a boyfriend. That sounds like you want a hairdresser. <laughs> you no, know, I don't want a hairdresser because I got my hairdresser. Thank you very much. But I'm cooking. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. If you said to him, babe, can you cut my weaver? And he says, nah, man, man ain't into all that. Would it bother you? Yeah. Wow. It really he would. He has to be on hairdressing. What? Yeah, it's not hairdressing, it's, it's helping me. But Do you know how hard it is to cut out a weave? It's hard, you know. Yeah, but it's a you problem. <laughs> it's 
cut with me. All right, then, give me the money and make my girl cut out the weave because she's going to charge me £20 just to cut out the weave. So are you going to give me that £20, babe? It's still you. It's not to me. It's a we. It's your we head. are a your... we. But you, I did it for us. Oh, whatever. I did that we for us to look good. Well, I don't. I like the cane rolls. No, you don't like the cane rolls. So leave the cane rolls. You're the same man that was talking about headscarf the other day. You don't I like. I said headscarf. I said cane rolls. So if I came just get, with the regular get silk pillows. Man knows about silk pillows, you know. <laughs> They're sweet boys. I swear. Right. Anyway, so coronavirus in April. Mm-hmm. The cases. Over a million. Are you thinking that it's going to attack you now? Yeah, I'm paying attention now. When You know what? When <laughs> woke up. When he they, got woke. When did everyone start taking the toilet paper out of the shops? Like March, isn't it? That's, I didn't Google that bit. But that's when it was like, all right, these are... Did you go and get toilet paper? I didn't. Why? Were you worried about your body? I was, but um, I didn't get excited. But where did we get toilet paper from again? Did you go Costco? No. I think I just got it where I could. So where there was where it was still available. So were you one of these people that was like stockpiling? Nah. Mm-mm. Why? Why are you not worried that the shops were gonna close? Because I thought the army was gonna come and get us and be at the end of our road with the the, the vans or whatever they call them and they were gonna lock us in our houses. That's what nah. I thought was gonna happen. I, I, I got a real panic attack, you know. I, <laughs> I thought think. I was in work and I saw some things on Instagram about The army is coming. We are going to be on lockdown. We are going to be shut down. And this is it. Coronavirus has come to kill us. I was thinking, I'm going to be on my own with my daughter. In my house, by myself. Never see anyone again. I panicked. Why did you not panic? See, it's men, you know. Men don't really think about these things. You know what? I just don't think I... I need to see that happening before I can start saying this is really happening. In my head, I'm an optimist. It's not going to get that bad. So I just always... Or are you ignorant? Well, it didn't get that bad, so no, I'm not ignorant. It is bad. Do you know how many minutes have died? The army didn't come with the, at the bottom of your road and you couldn't move. You could still move and the army never came. That's the bit you said. Yeah, that's true. So it didn't get that bad. Okay. It got worse and I, I, and I, it gradually got worse, so I got time to digest it. Yeah. But, but I didn't get... You stick. know when it got you mad? Go on. When the gym closed, didn't it? You felt it. That's the worst part of this whole thing. <laughs> the gym closed for you. You ball, isn't it? I hate it. I hate it. What did you do when the gym closed? I got a link in the gym. My virgin's virgin. I don't know if I can say this. Go on. I'm not saying it. Say it. This ain't going but nowhere yeah. but us. Come on. I got a link to a gym. So you got in the gym and it was locked? Yeah. Shut your shit. I won't shut my shit. It's the <laughs> truth. <laughs> you was in gym? We was going to gym. Was the shutters down? The shutters were down. It wasn't a gym, gym. It was in a school. So who was in there? Me and my virgin. I feel like I'm snitching. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm snitching. So let's say no more. But yeah, that's what happened for me. So it was like, it was really deep for you that you felt that you needed to break the law. What if you'd been found in that gym and you was arrested? We wouldn't have got arrested. Let's Why? Tell you what. Well, for what? For breaking the law. We didn't break the law. We got keys. The person would have been fucked who <laughs> gave us the keys. But oh. not you. Wow. If we've got keys, he gave us the keys to use. So you went in the gym. But it was allowed to be in So why is that so important to you to go gym anyway? That's my therapy, man. I dread that you roll your eyes at me saying it's my therapy. Therapy means it helps me. But you don't like that, do you? It's dread. Why are you not like that? Because I didn't have no keys for no gym. That's what, why. You, you, you was I was me. forced to go in my living room and, and try a ting. That's what I was doing. So because you had to do that and I I got an opportunity. Yeah, I'm a hater. You're upset with me. Yeah, I am. You know what it was? I must say, actually, shout out to Body Profit. He guided me through my first lockdown because he was on my phone every couple of days and we was doing workouts. But there is nothing as boring as doing a workout by yourself in your living room, sliding all over the laminate. Like, mm. it just wasn't doing it for me. Yeah, I can't work out at home. It was horrible. I was hot. Then I tried to do outside and then it was really hot. And then people were watching me and they were like, what's this big bitch doing? Jumping mm. up and down, doing star jumps and you shit. Them out. Then I've got like three bras on and it was just, bras it just wasn't nice even stuff. working for me. And then by the second lockdown, I said, I'll oh, stuff this, innit? So did, you, you never, did you lose any weight? Or? Yeah, I lost it in the first lockdown, but then I put it back on on the second and see this tear fall. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling sexy as. Yeah, that's the main thing. <laughs> what do you think? Do I look fat? No, you look... In what sense? Jamaican I... fat or... <laughs> what is it? Oh, what, Indian fat? No, Jamaican... Jamaican fat and everybody else is fat. So what fat am I then? You're probably Jamaican fat. 
What is Jamaican fat? How much? What's Jamaican fat? Tell me about it. Fat in a positive way. So English fat is what? Fat in a negative way. <laughs> <laughs> Overweight. What's Bajan fat? Bajan's not really... They're probably the same as Jamaican fat. Okay. They're probably just... Do you fat. think Bajans are sellouts? Because I do. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> Because they spent the longest under the British colony. Yeah. And they were the last to give up the British rule. But they gave it up. By, by force. And they're the ones that really love... If you see Barbados, they I've have more Barbados. white people Ambasian living in Barbados yeah. than... Firstly, do these not know that I'm Bajan? They know that. They know it now. Because you, so they understand the context of what you're doing. Okay, go on. Go on. So my people are what? Your people are Bajan. And yeah. your people have the most white people in the whole Caribbean islands. Okay. But you think you'd like sellouts? I don't think we're sellouts. But you were the first man to tell me about you got stolen and taken from an island. We but did. yet you lot were still loving up on the people that stole you. What kind of principles do you have? Me or Barbados? Barbados. I don't know what principles Barbados has. Myself, I'm not going to call my people them sellouts. I don't know what made them. I know our economy is one of the best in the Caribbean. Yeah, because the white man is funding All right, I'm, I never. I was saying I know our economy is one of the best. Okay. You can still spend the coins. You spend coins in Jamaica? I'm not trying to get onto Jamaica either. Yeah, you just did though. I'm asking. It's, I've never been. You've never been to Jamaica? Nah. I'm you, going. I'm going. When are you going? As soon as we can <laughs> fucking move. Can you, um, can you travel to Jamaica on a mm. criminal record? If Jamaica says I gotta come there. Yeah. Then fucking hell. Jamaica. <laughs> I should have to go to Jamaica. Can I travel to Jamaica when I walk? I just wanted to know. Right, anyway, COVID. I can probably just walk through. <laughs> it's like, yo, Bridget, yeah, you yeah, come. I'm from England, yeah? You I'm can't going, do that. Going through. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to Jamaica next year. Okay, right. Hopefully, hopefully. God willing. Did you know that in Morocco, mm. King Mohammed the Sixth pardons 5,600 prisoners because they wanted to protect inmates from COVID. He know. let them go. Five and a half thousand inmates. Why do you think the UK didn't do that? <laughs> because it's the UK. They but Morocco they... has more stricter, you know. Morocco, they, you think you're going to get the shit about Morocco? But they've got stricter, like, you've you got to look at a man and you go jail in Morocco, no? You kiss a woman on the roadside and you go jail. They've got different rules. I don't yeah. know if they're stricter. Okay. They're stricter us because that's not how we live. Do you think we should have let ima- inmates out to stop the spread of corona in prisons? I don't want to let them spread it out here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really bothered about what they do with the prisoners. I'm, I'm free. <laughs> you was a prisoner though. I'm free now. So, but you are a little crosses. How you don't care about your, your prisoner people then? I care then? about them, but I'm saying with regards to COVID, so, all right. I'm not really going to... Yeah, they should have let them... Always let them and them out, innit? Whatever. Why? You know, I never understand that free free per, this person, free that person. Because Why free? A, they committed a crime. Why free them? I'm not about free. They never always committed the crime. Oh, they committed the crime. They never always committed it. Don't and who try are you it. to tell me after you look do the same because fuck? Because the twelve that we people do? on the jury said they committed it. So why don't they? Right, why don't they judge them? Give the paedophiles them the, 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 the right amount of birds that they meant to get since they so, they care so much. People are going to smoke drugs. But I'm not going to free Jerome just because my, Mandem are saying free Jerome. <laughs> That's what you want, innit? You want Jerome free? I don't know Jerome. But I do want niggas free. I got homies that shouldn't be locked down. Why shouldn't they be locked down? They committed the they crime. They do, do the time. They never do nothing. Did you do something? No. Nah. <laughs> I never did anything. I supplied a service. Whatever. That, I, 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 I tell you this though. Yeah. Them people are still smoking now. Mm. I ain't shot food in years. And I guarantee you they're still smoking. So, oh, what well, the people that use the service? Yeah. Okay, so, I hear that. You know what I mean? Nick I the crackheads. So, right. In April, <laughs> Congo had Ebola. Do you know that? This year. This year? Yes. The Democratic of Congo report, first case of Ebola. What month? April. It killed 2,200 people. Wow, never, that's the first time hearing that. Really? Never. And, I, and you tell me I, that I don't watch the news. And I listen to the news. I listen to LBC every day at work. So why do you think that was not important? Because it's black people. Oh. That's my conspiracy. If I am. But a you're theorist. not a conspiracy. Really. Well, if I am, that's the one conspiracy that I believe. Is that probably because it was black people. And, and COVID was going on. And they don't care. Not right. Well, white people are dying. 
So did you know in Afghanistan in May the 12th, gunmen stormed a maternity hospital and killed 24 people, including newborn babies? No. Nah. Yeah. Where are you getting this shit? <laughs> it's the real news. It happened. The real news. I'm getting the fake news. Let's go back to the fake news. It stuff. happened in Shai, a neighborhood of Kabul in Afghanistan. No one cares about no, these people. Newborn babies. Because they're brown. They've got know? brown skin. What? But in Afghanistan? They're brown. They're Arab. You think, what do you think? White people think they're white. And that's why you think it wasn't in the news like that? More than likely. When COVID's going on. But COVID is happening. By this yeah, but time. Every day all... people are dying. English people are dying. Old English people. That means the people who live here's mums and dads and grannies. They ain't telling us about Afghanistan and Congo when people from fucking Manchester and wherever is people are dying. So then, in May 26, <sighs> protests, George Floyd. Mm. Now that to me was men Powerful. tall. See this year, this is what I'm saying to you about this year. This year has brought so many themes about poverty, isolation, racism. But George Floyd, that was for me one of the biggest things to happen. I think the image of George Floyd being suffocated on the floor will stay with me forever. As a black... It represented just the position white people have over us. What, the position of the neck on? They got the the, the knee in your neck. Blase. Like, what? Film me. I don't give a shit. Nothing's going to happen to me. But, okay... Let's be careful. Because that there was, was a, a, there was a black was a, no 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 there was a black police officer right next to him and a Chinese police yeah, officer police and they did not stop him. So how can we then say it's the white man thing? Let me tell you why. Go on. Because you're always going to get black. Listen, you think slavery days they weren't black slaves selling out the rest of the um, slaves that were trying to do cut out or whatever. It's you're always going to get them people that go outside of the cultural mm-hmm. bubble to try and fit in with that side because it looks like it's the winning side that man they ain't us man the man ain't. so as a black man in the uk i think george floyd hit you guys differently to us as black women would you agree or disagree probably because we're men isn't it and we know the difference them the people them what them police a lot of them i don't think it's as bad here as in america no way no. nah it's bad here mm. but it's not as not on the scale of america do you think you've been racially aggravated by the police aggravated yeah so do you think you've been racially targeted, maybe, I should say? Not as much as people would like to make you think. Why do you think people want to make you think? So I think some man, like, if you're, if you're, you know, if you're in a rental with the fucking seat back low and you've got no shirt on and your chain's hanging out mm. and they pull you over, you can't say, it's true, I'm black. <laughs> it's because you're a rental with your chain Maybe because of how you're moving. Yeah. So you can nah. mix it and say, oh, they're racist. But if they're spot on, yeah, I can't. And I don't, I'm not pro-police. I'm just saying like. So do you, have you picked cars to drive based on not wanting to be bait? Before? Nah, nah. Really? Nah, I just carry Don't you think there are bait cars though? There are cars that are more used by certain people, but I don't so, think So, okay, what do you think is a black man's shot or whip? Shot or whip for me would say right now. What's a shot or whip? I'd say Mercedes. A-class. A-class. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's a shot of whip, definitely. Yeah. Especially the one when you open and the light comes. Yeah. That's a that's a gray. big yeah, that's a yeah, grey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a shot of whip. That's the man name's whip. Yeah. What it used to be? It used to be like We was rentals, man. I was in rentals. We didn't as long as it was a rent, I didn't give a shit what How'd you get rental with no credit? I'm not saying you didn't have no credit, but wow. I didn't say you <laughs> This is like are we taking score, but no, we're not I am head. I'm just saying that some of the guys do not even have a credit card or an address. Girls, we got girls that did it for us. Back then. Girls used to go and... Get rentals out for us. For, for you not to mash up our credit? For what? What are you giving them? Let me do this podcast the other day. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how rude you are? I'm just saying. So, George Floyd, would you agree with protests for George Floyd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you agree with the people in England... Pushing the statues over. Yeah. Mm. You do? I do. Why? Because why would you put a monument up to someone who was barbaric? We didn't fight for it before, so you waited until a man got suffocated to then talk about yeah, it. It takes a spark. Maybe that was the time it needed that. Did you hear those people are going to get arrested and charged? Probably. I didn't hear that, but I can imagine. Yeah, they are. They're not feeling that. You They're looking for that. 
Yeah, you can't just do that. So why couldn't they take a different stand? Why do you think they had to cut it down and throw it over the thing? What's the different stand? Maybe, I don't know, protest around it and like do a sleep in. You see them people by, um, pa- by Parliament, they do that. They sleep in a tent. Yeah, but that they do don't it. move. And they know you're going to go home tomorrow and then... They're not going home. Some of them have been out there for years, you know. They're not going to sleep in there. <laughs> Pushing it out was the, best, was the best thing. You think so? Yeah. So then they put up a black strong woman did you mm-hmm. see that mm-hmm. and they took that down you know 100% but that, that wasn't really on the news when they took it down why do you think well obviously. who is she you're not giving her no fucking <laughs> no press they, that is the best weapon they got the media you think they're gonna waste that on this black woman to inspire someone by accident nah you do that quietly what else could we have done in the uk about george floyd and the incident what do you think would have been more um impactive i think it's it all comes down to money. Mm. So if the the people and the celebrities we got, if they do something and fuck up the money, mm. it, they're gonna pay attention because the main the, the powers that be, they don't really give a shit about what we want. But once the money gets involved, it starts fucking with the peas because they realize that we do a lot of the buying. We ain't realized it yet, but so it was on the news the other day that they American blacks don't think that we like Lewis Hamilton a lot as a black man in our culture. I agree. Well, black people? Yeah. Why don't we rate him? I don't know. Why don't you rate him? Who told you I don't rate him? Just saying, isn't it? I rate Lewis. Why do you rate Lewis? Because he's the best at what he does. But why do you think a lot of people don't really talk about him and boost him? Like, for example, the boxer, what's his name now? Ooh. Andrew Shaw. Whew. Anthony, if you're out there. Anyway. He's out there. <laughs> so what, you don't think he'll be interested in me? Why are you saying that? I know, that? I said, I'm just, you said if he's out there, I'm just, you, I'm just answering that bit. He's out there. He yeah. won the fight. Do you think I could get Anthony? Anything's possible. You can get anyone you want. Could I? 100%. What, do, what would I have to do to get a man like Anthony? You have to ask a man like Anthony. <laughs> I'm not a man like Anthony. I'm a man like Darren. <laughs> you don't have to do to get a man like me. I can tell you that all the details. But a man like Anthony, don't know. All right, so back to, back to Lewis Hamilton. Mm. Why do you think he's not made like the pinnacle of our black society as a representation of who we are and what we do? Maybe because he's, he's a little bit detached from the... Why is he detached? I don't know. Well, I think he's, he's, get, he's clawing it back now. But he got Kano the other day. He got like some, some single blacks, didn't he? Yeah. He got his hair done. He's got money. Because he was bald at one point. Oh, he was doing he? worse than me. <laughs> I'm doing bad as well, guys. But so it go. So when he I got the cane row, did you feel insulted? I felt like I wanted to cop uh, um, a new hair, a new hairline. You felt like you <laughs> for a second. You felt yeah. like you wanted to get cane row too. Not cane row, but I wouldn't mind some curls and a little. A little what? I don't know, a little bit more hair. But, but you're I'm, a big I'm, man I'm, now. Yeah, now I'm cool with it. It was just a moment. You said four. I didn't say it out loud. I thought it. I'm okay. allowed to think everything, right? And what do you think about him and Nicole Scherzinger? Do you think he was punching? No, why is he punching? She's sexy, you know. Yeah, but he's, he, there's nothing wrong with him. He doesn't look like mm. a bad-looking youth. I think he he's is. He's successful in what he does. Do you think? She was doing all right as well. They, he makes a lot of money. She was like, oh, she, I don't know about... Pu- I think punching is a bit strong. Do you think Harry's punching with Meghan? I think his status pushes him up quite a bit. But I don't think... Lo- if he was just a normal white dude... Ginger White dude, didn't hundred percent, but he's Prince Harry. Yeah, he's you know what I mean. The he's Diana's, it, daughter, Diana's son. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's the rebel out of them lot. So then we move on to it's not really. I don't know. Africa's declared free of wild polio. Did you know that? Didn't know any of that. Me neither. I don't know. What, I'm not saying that's not an important thing, you know. It's very important. But I didn't know about it. If we recap in the year, then no, that wasn't major for my year. Okay. In August also, yeah. Mm. Amazon CEO, Jeff, yes. becomes the first person in history to have a net worth exceeding 200 billion pounds. Do you think one man should hold all that money? If he earned it. How did he earn it? It's Do you know they were, they were not paying their taxes? Yeah, How but, dare you? Yeah, but listen to this. That's why he's got that. See, one day, yeah. I used to he take... He gave his wife... Oh, let me just cut you. He got caught. He was texting some next chick and he got caught and his wife divorced him. And he, she's like a billionaire and he's still a trillionaire or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> it's crazy. He deserves every penny he gets. 
You think? Yeah, he's, he's But smart. why do you think cheating up with money? Do you think billionaires <laughs> should be allowed to cheat? More than anyone in the world. Why? Because they can afford everything. I don't understand. What, what about understand? the emotional hurt that the woman's enduring by being... So a man who's got no money isn't allowed to cheat, but a billionaire should be... A, Nobody's allowed to cheat. Yeah, I never said he should have been cheating. I said he was. He obviously thinks he deserves more than what he's given. I don't think anybody Maybe it's the millions cheating. and billions that he's got. But I have to say, I guess the pill is easier to swallow if my man was rich and he was cheating versus if 100%. he was poor. Because you going shopping... When he's when he's broken my heart, better than yeah, I think I can get over house. it definitely. And eating pot noodles, isn't it? Yeah. I don't really eat pot noodles. I eat them other ones in the packet. But I'm saying oh. that it's easier when he's rich. Hundred percent. Everything's easier when there's money. Everything. Yeah. I think I'd even allow it to be fair because all that, that like I, you know, I'm about that sister wife life. You know. So you could exist in a relationship knowing there's another woman, but openly. I want us both to be there in the house. Are you into women? What? Are you into women? Nah, not me and her. Them but, two and so, me but, too. But he suggests that obviously if you lived in the house together. Yeah. And no. I'm no, you're not understanding what a sister wife is. A sister wife is me and her are like sisters. Not to she, him. Yes, to him. You're not sisters to him. Yes, we are. Two separate women. And it's But we bedtime. look after each other and we look after each other's it's bedtime. Yeah, I'm I'm talking about are you willing to go No. You I can't don't. live with a man and you so the two of you are cool with living with the man. Yes. But the main thing of it not the main thing, but one of the major parts of the whole deal is having both of you at the same time. No, there's nothing about can't... the same time. It's That's about crazy. him being able to go from woman to woman. Because you're telling me you go in, in a house. roundabout way that men don't really, and I've heard from you, that men being faithful is a bit hard. It is, but I'm saying you'd have to go in another house. What's the point of you both Why? being here? Why can't, but you I don't have to leave the crazy. house, and I know where you are. We both know where you are. We know you're in bedroom eight or bedroom And when you're eight. in your house, you'll know I'm here or there. No, let's just all stay in the same house. What? I wouldn't want that. Why? Why wouldn't you want to have be a man and have two women living in two different bedrooms and have your both kids with both women in the same house? Because if I wanted all that, there would be an evening when I come in and had a drink. Yeah. And I'd have said, Oi, number one, number two. Come and really? chat to me in the bedroom for something. But second. you told me that threesomes are not all they're cracked up to be. I, yeah, I'm just saying though. I'm what? talking about in general, a man who's going to have two women in his house, he's going to expect to sleep both of them. Hey, that's greed. He's got two women in the well, house. Well, go to one at 10 o'clock and then go to the other one at 11. Or, if you're such a bad man with your rounds, go it, do your thing, man. Bring 11 and 12 o'clock in the room. <laughs> I don't want to. Because we're all here. I don't want to see. And I've had a drink and I want to chill out. You're not chilling out, me, with Come two gal. You know, ain't sisters. You know, ain't si- or whatever. We are, we're si- not, we are not. sisters. Your mum is not your mum. Your mum is not your mum. <laughs> So forget about all that. We're seeking sister. I just want another woman to deal with you, to be honest. Because I think it'll be better if, like, there were two women to deal with your moods and your mood swings and your... I don't want to cook for you every day. I'll cook for you every other day, innit? That's what I want. I don't don't want to be doing all this. Let her have you. You're going to go there anyway, so we might as well just know each other. And I can interview her because I would always be the first wife. You say this gangster shit now, Cam, but you're not... You don't mean it. I do. You don't, you don't. Let's just have it out, innit? You don't. You don't. You're going to be the same one on my phone saying, <laughs> fucking little bitch, you know. Just, yeah, the whole time, or whatever. I don't know. But I don't believe you. Darren knows that I call his I phone you're all the shit. time. You're saying gangster shit now, but she don't mean that shit. You don't think I mean it? Nah. You don't think I can share my man? No. Why? What about me that makes you think I can't share I my man? I feel like you feel like yeah. you're woman enough to, to have it, the whole place. Oh, I am. Exactly. Right, so in November, Joe Biden is elected president of the United States. Mm. Did, did you even care? I did care. You can't even go in America. No, because Trump is so big. No, but you know what I heard? Yeah, I heard Biden ain't even the guy either. If I'm honest, no, he's not. He probably ain't. But Trump. And I heard my girl ain't and... the guy, the girl either. What's her name Kamala again? Harris. Kamala. I heard that she was that you. I think it was you that told me doing the law for. Um, drugs and making people go to prison. That was the old law. Yeah, but she initiated that. That was Bi- Biden's got a law that fucked a lot of black people up. Right, so why were you black people all jumping up? I think just because they want Trump out. Trump's so volatile. Mm. At least Biden's the norm. He's a politician, chat shit, doesn't like black people, all the stuff we're used to. But Mayu is fucking... His thing's different. He could start World War Three. 
at any minute just because yeah, he's, he's in a bad mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like he is. gave the world fake news. He changed the game with fake news. Yeah, he did. He's fake news. He's basically too. saying if it, I, if it doesn't go with what I'm saying, it's bullshit. Yeah, that's true. serious. He's wild. You he's know. cold. And my man, we're living me. through a serious part of history. My man whipped off his mask like yeah. it was nothing. Do you no, remember? Yeah, like he, he was like. Da -da. Yeah, I've said, got the COVID and I don't care. Like mm. he said, grab them by the pussy. Who said that? Trump. Grab who by the pussy? Women. What? Where have you been? <laughs> Streatham. Where's she been? Streatham. <laughs> they got TVs in Streatham. Don't do Streatham like that. <laughs> Streatham. Wait, wait, when did he say this? Long time ago. Why are you grabbing I'm... them by the pussy? Do you know that hurts? Because he like can. Who? Women. Do you know that hurts? Would you like to be grabbed by the balls? Whoa! I didn't say it first thing. <laughs> You gotta ask Trump if you wish. I never said You're always it. deflected. Yes. No, I'm always protecting myself. <laughs> I protect me, firstly. Self love, you asked earlier. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. So when you're grabbing someone, what was it said in context? You've got to tell me the whole story. I can't. It, I, you, my man remembers. Everyone, everyone but you remembers. Yeah, because I don't You're remember. talking about polio in um, <laughs> I was in Senegal. I was in Senegal. Where was it? Um, yeah, check, Congo. Check your notes. <laughs> but. He he said, um, "Was he? I, I can't remember how he said it, but it was it was it was yeah, it was that like locker room talk. Wow. He, was, he didn't know he was being filmed. Yeah, he is recky. I'm not gonna no, he's, lie. He's so, what's your hopes for America under this new Biden? I don't. You don't care. I don't really. Are you making me sound fucked? I'm not. You're, I'm not you're that saying what you're saying. America. I ain't been there, so I'm not going there. It doesn't really affect me. America. But is, you like American America's music. America's interesting. You like, yes, you like the, the booty popping. You like Yeah, the, but only to an extent. I don't give a shit about it. So that sounds really bad. It does. I do give a shit about it. I do, I do. But I don't care enough for it to be like their politics and their... Just... They'll work it out. They've worked it out before. We've got to work shit out here. I'm more interested in what's happening what here. What do you think is going to happen the day that they try to get Trump out of the White House? Do you think he's actually going to walk out? Nah. What do you think it's going to look like? I don't know, but it's going to be Trumpish, <laughs> And he's going to do something different. Because he's got 70 million votes. Yeah. That's a lot of votes, yeah. even though he lost. There's seven, knowing that there's 70 million... That's like you getting 70 million views on this podcast yeah. now. boom. And then they say... 2021, that's what we're on. And then they say, oh, but you've got to take it down. Now, you, yeah. you know you've got 70 million people waiting on you. Yeah. So, you, who knows what he's going to do? So, in my head, he can either go out peacefully, which would be lovely, yeah. or he can, like, lock the doors. He can't. Why you can't lock the doors? It's not his house anymore. It's, there's rules. It's, it's, but you've got... My um, man's been... I swear you've got squatters, right? Not in the White House, yet. Why is it it's just a house? Secret service. Just, unless you put the foot through the door. I learned this thing in a hard way, you know. Something. When the bailiffs were then was outside my door, as long as you ain't put the foot in, beef. you ain't coming in, fam. It's a different beef. How is it a different beef? Because I see them yard. So the bailiffs coming for you and the secret service coming for Trump. It's kind of, it's, not, it's close. <laughs> but it's not the same scale. Have They're you ever had bailiffs at your door? Yeah, I have. And what did you do? Run them. Did you talk to them through the, the door? No, I bust the door. You bust the door? You're mm. not supposed to bust the door. They, don't, they know what they're doing. They wanna, they're bullies. They but shit. if they put the foot through the door, it's a wrap for you. Don't you know the code? I watch um, <laughs> yeah. the show. Imagine being on that show. Imagine. Have you ever known anyone on that show? Yeah. Have you? Yeah, Did you get? Did you talk to them after? Like, I, oh, I, I saw you on that show. There was a friend of a friend. I was like, ee, man. And did you see the inside of their yard? Yeah, man. You might pay your rent, man. Pay your rent, man. <laughs> That's fucked, man. How can you not be paying your rent? There's a lot of people that don't pay their rent. That's crazy. Say, yeah, yeah, it's mad. How are you alive? So then we've got <clears throat> December the 3rd. This relates to you. UN Commission on Narcotics Narcotics Drugs <laughs> removes cannabis from a list of dangerous drugs in recognition of its medical value. Did you know that? How does that relate to me? Drugs is, is me. What? How does it relate to me? Okay, does it not relate to you? Not in the slightest. Why? On December the third, when they did all that, yeah, I didn't care. Why would I care? Why they legalize it? That's what you know. So what does that mean? I can smoke weed now. Oh, I don't really you know. Think I can't smoke weed now. It's just removed from the list of dangerous drugs. Ah, oh. so fair. that could change things. So people that have gone prison for cannabis possession, you think they're gonna let them out? They might. They won't. I Can think we should start a petition for people. I need that. to move to Streatham. <laughs> like a bubble. Because Northwest Nothing. is a whole another world, isn't it? You lot have your it's own. It's West Indies. <laughs> it is. Northwest Indies, it is. 
Do you like living up there? Yeah, it's made me honorary honorary Jamaican. <laughs> yeah. We're all Jamaican, isn't it, if you come from North West. We've got a Jamaican twang. You used to live on a quite a rough estate, didn't you? Roughish. And how, why is it roughish? It was rough. It was rougher. Really? Rougher. And how do you, how do you feel as a young man growing up on a rough estate? A rough H S. I think you realise you don't realise it's rough while you're in it. Because you were one of the ruffians. I was never rough. You was very rough. I used to come and check you up there, never but we'll go there. So never rough, actually. December the eighth. Yes. COVID nineteen pandemic. The United Kingdom becomes the first nation to begin a mass inoculation campaign using clinically authorized vaccines. This is what I want to talk about. Are you being vaccinated or not? Not first. <laughs> Idiot. I'm not going to lie to you lot. I probably will take it. But not first. Why are you going to take it? If they say to me that I can't do certain things like travel and shit, unless I can buy a... F- a f- I don't want to blow my thing up before I do it. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll see. So I'm going to take it. Straight away. Because I like flights. But ain't you worried about the repercut? Like, what's going to happen? To be fair, I'm a child of God, isn't it? And, you know, covered by the blood and all that. If I was to get the COVID, I was to get the COVID anyway. I think I had it in December last year, regardless. Totally right. So I think that vaccine is just another. I would take my jinxing and shit anyway. Mm. I think I've been look. I've been at work the whole time and visiting families and whatever. I think I've been around COVID plenty, you know. Mm. So I don't think the vaccine, particularly, the only thing I was worried about was this microchipping. Yeah, but why would they do that? Because they want to follow me. They already can follow you. They, your phone. But I don't take my phone everywhere. You do. You do. We all do. This is why I think people are dumb. They've already got us. You are talking about microchip. They've got our phone. It got GPR. It says it. Turn your GPR and we turn it on for them. <laughs> and it's a chip that you put in it. No one said the chip was going to be in your skin. We've already got. They've already got us. So you think they I'm- know exactly? They know what you buy, what you don't buy, what you're interested in. They know your eyes. They know your face. They know who you speak to. Why would they need to put a chip in your arm? So why wouldn't you just take the vaccine first then? Just because I feel like they've rushed it. And okay. I know that they care more about the economy than they do about our health. Right. So they just want to get one out so we can be first, so we can get back to work. What do you think about those nurses that had, like, an allergic attack? It was always going to happen. Mm. There's millions of people we're talking about. Everyone's not the same. Yeah. There's people with conditions. So if they say to you, if you don't have the vaccine, you can't fly, you're taking it. By the time I want to fly, probably, yeah. If no one ain't growing another head, <laughs> then yeah. So, are you forcing your children to have the vaccine? I'm not forcing my children to do anything. It's up to them when they're old enough to decide. What they're about not... your children that are not old enough to decide? No, I'm not. I'm not so, there's I'm some not... schools at the moment, they're running me down. If, all right, listen. Yeah. See, the kids thing now, I'm not making them, I can make a decision as an adult. Mm. I'm not making decisions like that for them. I'll wait, leave them. They're not getting it. We don't need to fly out with them. They can't go nowhere, innit, then? Until it's time. You can leave the kids at home. Bastard. With their mum. They're not going to be flying out. I don't... I've got you're baby mum. I've got a situation. You're such a baby father, you know. If it was like... You can fly. Make the kids must stay home with their mums. Yeah. Why? Why can't they go on holiday with because you? They, because I don't want them to get the vaccine and... No, you just don't want to pay for them to go on holiday. No, it's not that. Don't do that. I'm doing that. <laughs> I'd pay for them. But if they're saying it's a long... I'm not going to give my youth something that they might... That's like forcing religion on them. I wouldn't say to them, you look a Christian. And then when they get to 16, 17, they decide to be Buddhist. Because you've been other religions, haven't you? I was a practicing Muslim. Mm. I still class myself as Muslim now, but... Do you? Yeah. I'm just not practicing. That's interesting. No, a lot of things about me are interesting. So what made me. you go towards Islam than Christianity? Because I'm assuming you were raised in Christianity. Yeah, just made more sense. So my opinion was that you was in jail. I wasn't. And that a whole heap of black man, this is what I'm saying. You know what they say about opinions? What? They're like assholes. <laughs> what about them? Everyone's got one. Most are full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's just saying. So I thought you turned Muslim in jail. I didn't know. Didn't you? No. So where did you turn Muslim then? At home. When I was free. Really? Ages before I went to prison. So, so there's no pressure. So, so what happened? Like one day you decided that... I was in a place where I was a bit more spiritual mm. and I had people around me that were practicing Muslims that were good people. Mm. So their example was a good one on me and it took much harder. So what made you not practice now? 
I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't want anyone to talk about it. You just grew out, of, grew out of it? Because the thing mm. is, I find that... Yeah, I mean, of... I mean, not grew out. You can't grow out of the religion, but I think it just... It's, just, it's me. I'm just in a different place. And I think the same with Christianity, you know. Like, there's a lot of things about Christianity that I particularly shouldn't be doing. We shouldn't be drinking brandy like we do. We shouldn't be raving out like we do. I'm having... This is water. Them lies there. It's you and brandy. A lot wouldn't like that. You know them one. <laughs> Well, we take what we want from religion, and I don't know if we're we're. Mm. Yeah, pick, I think you've got to pick out the good things in everything. So talking about the, the rounding up twenty twenty, there's a lot of deaths. Loads. So, Pop Smoke died. Yeah, I felt that man. Why did you feel that though? I didn't know I listened who he was. to him. I listened to his music. Tell me a song. Welcome to the party. Mm. War. Can't really why did you why why did you feel him? I don't know. He just I like. The, his music sounds all right. I don't mind drill. It's because he was on the drill, English drill beats. Okay. And so when he died, it was just a, a lover. It's sad, isn't it, young you? Mm. Just about to start his life, just seeing success. Killed like that. You know what killed me? Well, not killed, that's the wrong way to say it, but when Caroline Flack died, she died in February. I felt Caroline see. Flack as well. I did. Because I watched Love Island. Oh, you're a Love Islander. I wouldn't say I'm a Love Islander, but I've... I, Watch a few seasons. Don't mind it, downplay it, but anyway. Don't downplay it. You do, watch but a few seasons. Love anyway. Island, though, is a big stretch for, to someone who watches it. You got the um, water bottle, innit? Nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. man. I never. I wanted it. Anyone wants to get it for Christmas, I'm about that life. <laughs> when she died of mental, well, I don't... <sighs> See, this is, my answer to this is a bit controversial. Go on. Not controversial, but I just don't rate... Suicide, for mm. me, is very cowardly. Mm. You're leaving your people them here with unanswered questions and making them feel bad. But was it unanswered? Because she wrote a letter and she answered the questions. But I guarantee her people are still saying, but why? But why? Because my heart was broken. And I was taken through the entertainment industry news and everything and made to look like an yeah, but abusive you still, partner. You still in a be- All right. But you were still in a better position than a lot of people. And to just do it like that and leave us here with the aftermath, to me, is selfish. Mm. Natural causes, you die of natural causes, you die of natural causes, isn't it? If but you, do you know how hard life can be? Like, I'm not even a lie. Some, sometimes, if you are, and I can only speak for being a woman, I can't speak for what it would like to be a man. When it's overwhelming and the pressure is a lot, you know, sometimes you might lie down at night and just say, do you know, I don't even want to wake up tomorrow. I have them thoughts, people have them thoughts, like, fuck right. this. But then you, the, the, you got to think of the, like, the compassionate side, you should kick in and be like... But don't you think it's more difficult it could be worse. for people that have, and, and I can only talk about people with children. The, per, the the thing that gets me out of that thought is my child. Exactly, yeah. Right, so imagine when you don't have that though. All right, but imagine now you're someone in a poor part of the country, a poor part of the world. Yeah. That's still got the same feelings you've got. you got your child. Mm. But you haven't got running water or you ain't got, we got beer things here that it could be always be worse. Mm. So me clocking onto whatever's fucking with my, mm. uh, my mind or whatever at the time, I put myself in the position of someone who's way worse off than me and doesn't know any better than what they're in. And mm. if I could handle that, uh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's, someone, there's someone right now that would die to be in my position. So me just wasting it and taking it away just because I'm having a moment, at like the moment will But pop. do you think it's a moment? Some people endure this moment for well, a long Well, I can't, you know, I can only speak, you know me. I can only yeah. see it from my point of view. But then you're a positive guy. I am. Sometimes it is really the, difficult. The glass is half full. Yeah, me. yeah, the glass is really half full for you. And I think sometimes you don't know, you don't feel it until you know it mm. and until you've experienced it. Mm. And for someone like myself that have experienced like really low mood, I get how that can... I've had really low mood. Don't get it twisted. I've had some... And I feel like because of my personality and I'm always kind of the, like the jokey whatever in the room, mm. i got to keep that up. So I can't really get to, so I do my thing on my own. I used to, mm. but I've had low. I've had some low moments as well, man. Like I've had, like you know, I've had issues with my, my first baby mother and my boys. It's not where where I would like would prefer it to be, mm. and that is always something that affects me. But what can you do, man? Life goes on. I've got, I've got other kids. We pray for change, innit? Mm. Diego Maradona died this year. Sad. Is it because you like football? Because that didn't bother me. Yeah, see, no see? Ah, there see. it is. Aye. There it is. It didn't bother you because you it don't like football. But it bothered me because I remember I watched. He's like a, it's a legend. Mm. Arguably the best football player ever. He was an old man, no? Yeah, but he still did the stuff he did. He lived his life. Not really. He was sixty. Mm, yes, sir. 
Sean Connery died. It's 20 years on me. I guess. Mm. Rough crowd. Sean Connery died. Did you Yeah, I felt that. Because I'm a James Bond. I'm a film freak. I love films. Mm. I've seen probably every film you can think of. There's O'Connor. Yeah. That, uh, that, that touched me a bit. <laughs> Not as much as Sean, Sean Connery and Maradona. Little Richard died. I didn't. I don't remember him dying. You Little Richard's the, 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 the rock and roll guy. Well, I don't know, I guess. Yeah. From pop. Sad. Yeah. All death a lot well. of people died. I mean, one of the biggest stories that happened, which is very UK based, was, and I want to say his name right, Dashavelli. What was oh. your thoughts on that? So tell me the context, because I'm not really in the UK music scene. What happened? All right, we with the Dutch thing. Apparently, he was messaging some girl that's 14 years old or something, like mm. and it someone leaked his Instagram. But my thing is this. Like, I ain't writing him off because I can't just go by Instagram posts. Mm. That's not enough for me. I don't know the case. I don't know the... the so the he's thing. a rapper? Yeah. And he's a big man? He's about 26. Okay. Mm. But apparently he's talking to some girl who's 14, apparently. Right. But I can't go... I can't write him off just because someone's decided to leak some DMs. But why wouldn't you leak someone that is doing paedophile business? Well... I don't know if it's beautiful business. But she's 14. But is, are their messages accurate? Are they real? You can doctor them things. You can't, I can't. So what do you think about the guy that was in South London that was actively... Um, the little girl? Yeah. Oh, well, he deserves whatever he gets. I would have rather the man them. But how did you feel about man them going to his... So basically, this man... Going to his house to fuck him up? Yeah. Yeah, he should Do you right. think people should be activists like that to go to someone's yeah. mum's house yeah. to when challenge on someone camera like that, that has been accused of paedophilia? That's his mum's house. When it's, when it's on camera like that, and we can see what you're doing. It's not like we can give you the benefit of that because we weren't there and we don't Because know. you think, so you be judge and jury, you've accused him. You don't know what he's saying to my girl, but you've seen him talking to my I girl. I heard that girl's voice after he left, that scream. She weren't lying to me. I'm not stupid. And so you think it's all right for Mandem to, to go to his mum's yard? If he's there. No trouble his mum, but your son did wrong, mum. Where is he? <laughs> you think mum's going to say? Oh, we're down the road. That's, that's either here or there, but I'm saying... For the man to go there to look for him, yes. Go what if he's him. got mental health? Do you not think that he just needs help? He's just got a bad deck of cards. Mm. He's gonna get licks. He's gonna get licks. Yeah. What? You see that? You see that? That's my daughter's age. Yeah. I'm not. I wouldn't give a shit if you had mental health. Fuck that. Serious. Yeah, I wouldn't. Sorry, it sounds bad, but I wouldn't. I can only speak about the the real. Actually, you know, if you know well enough to do what you're doing to treat that little girl to be quiet and all that. You ain't as mad as you need to be to not get licks. So that was the same as Harry Weinstein. Harvey. Harvey. That was uh, a film So Harvey director. Weinstein was different because he was using his power mm. to sleep with the women. But that to me is an old age thing. If it you want to get up in the train, right. you're so going to sleep slavery. With... How is it slavery? I'm That's saying, deep. No, I said so is slavery. Because oh. it's old age, I don't mean it's right. No, it doesn't. Because, you know, people in power... You're, you're right. They yeah. mustn't take advantage. Hmm. So, you know, wrapping up. I know self-isolation was your biggest word, but what's your biggest lesson of 2020? Um, that tomorrow's not promise. Mm. And to have fun, do it all now. We what are them. you going to do differently in 2021? That's a good question. I think 2020 has occupied me so much. I haven't even had a chance. I just want to get out of the state that we're in. But I feel like it's, it's made me appreciate things more. Like the what? things that we didn't have, like even just being a mingling with family, because I've got family members who are scared of the worst happening, so I can't go around. Like, Christians are going to be nuts this year. So we, I'm, I'm from a tight family. We're always at one place. It's a designated auntie whose house is having it, but we're always one place. And this year, everyone's fractured. I think my value has been what I've learned from 2020 is valuing those that have supported me and I talk about this journey like I remember when I started this podcast you were one of the first people that said to me you can do this you believed in what I had and I really have learned to um, value those around me value those that believe in me but most of all value myself mm. and I think I can't rely on those people that, that are here for me or not because the only person that's here for me is me mm -hmm. and all I'm taking the only person that's here for you and not and that's not going to change because there are times when people are there for you, yeah. but it might run out and then you might think that person's there for you for 
Longer than I've become are. so much more confident this year. I've become so much more inspired by my damn self mm-hmm. than looking on Instagram. I've changed my followers. I've changed who I follow. I've changed like my whole circle. My mm-hmm. circle's become even smaller it's than happened. it was before. Happens. And I've learned to really love the people that I'm connected it, yeah. to. Quality, not quantity. Quality. Mm. And that's my thing. So 2021, I'm hoping that we'll be back together. Newsflash, firstly. All right. It's going to be the same as 2020 oh, for fuck most of off. it. So you think that New Year's Eve's going to happen Downer. and then it's going to be... You know what? Cut, cut. Debbie I'm just Downer's saying. Building. Reality. Well, reality. Lot. Enjoy reality, 2021. Ryan. Bring blessings, prosperity to you. I've loved your support. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow. And a huge love to Beat Set to Ents that have followed me on my journey and continue to show me love. Follow his page. Love to you all.